This is a tag team showdown. Only one of a team's robots can fight at a time. They have to tag their partner by returning to their zone. It's not the WWF. You have to make the tag. RefBot holds down the unenviable task of trying to maintain order. Good luck, RefBot, because this showdown is going to be beyond control. Boy, you said a mouthful, Mick. Here's how it's going to line up in round one. We've got Joker and Falcon up against General Chomsalot and Runaway, but first up, Tut Tut and Trillzilla up against Tricerobot and Rosie the Riveter. From Chandler, Arizona, Tut Tut. And there's Tut Tut supporting the pyramid power theory at 205 pounds with two electric motors, a serious pneumatic hack. They'll show you how to walk like an Egyptian. My name's Chris Harriman from Team Cyclone. This is Tut Tut, the Egyptian Pyramid of Doom, and we're here to annihilate anybody that gets in our way. From San Jose, California, Drillzilla. He's a walker, which means he can have twice the weight of the guys with wheels. He's got four electric motors, steel jaws, a drill, and a team with no dress sense. For the Silicon Valley Destruction Company from San Jose, California, this is Dave Hall, our captain and chief designer. This is Chris Kalai, and I'm Bruce Hall. Our bot is Drillzilla. It's the fastest walking robot ever built. It drills, it kills, and it'll walk all over you. From Corvallis, Oregon, Tricerabot. He's got two serious armor-piercing horns that when he gets a little bit of speed, he'll probably do some real damage, but he better stay away from the flames. I'm Mike Morrow, leader of Team Juggerbot. Today we brought our most fearsome robot, Tricerabot. Helping me today with Tricerabot is Nicole and Noor. <laughs> Thanks, Noor. From Gresham, Oregon, Rosie the Riveter. She's 216 pounds with wheelchair motors, iron battering rams. She's fast, she's powerful, she's patriotic. Hello, we're Team Thunderbolt. This is our ground mechanic, Private Chris Hender. This is Sharon. She helped build the robot. I'm Chris Kaplan. I'm the driver and captain. And this is Rosie the Riveter. This is the last thing that a lot of robots are going to see today. She can fly! Roboteers, stand by. Chris Harriman, Dave and Bruce Hall, and Chris Calloy for Tut Tut and Drillzilla. Mike and Nicole Morrow, Chris and Ron Ender, and Chris and Sharon Gatman for Rosie the Riveter and Tricerobot. The house bots in round one will be Matilda with her fearsome tusks and the mean, awesome pushing power of Shunt. So just like tag team wrestling, only one half of that team can be in there fighting at once. So they got to get tagged for the other one to come in. They're off. Tut Tut and Tricerobot right up against each other, dancing around. There's Chris Harriman trying to figure a way in to Tricerobot. Weakness. Tut Tut goes to the corner patrol zone and tags in. Drillzilla now the walker at twice the way to Tricerobot. Just going to have his way with him because he's got too much power for those boys. Now Trillzilla's trying to get Tricerobot where he does not want to be over those flames. That is a flammable robot. And he's on fire now. And the audience is on fire. But wait a minute. Rosie the Riveter doesn't tag up or anything. He's in there trying to do a little damage to the back of Trillzilla. Rosie the Riveter just kind of snuck in there. Rampot never said a word. But Killalot is milling around looking like he's taking the law into his own hands. And he has. Rosie the Riveter came in there without attack, and Killalot is gonna make her pay. Killalot with those mean pincers. He lets go of Rosie the Riveter, and Refbot is warning Killalot, get back to your corner. They're not allowed to get out of there. Well, look at that! Tricerobot is in flames! Tricerobot is burning uncontrollably in a dinosaur barbecue fashion, and it's a free-for-all! They're all in it now! Everybody jumping in there trying to get the last word! Rosie the Riveter stuck to the arena floor, and Matilda backs in with that 3,000 RPM flywheel, trying to do a little bit of damage, but Rosie gets out of it! Matilda backing up! Tricerobot puts Matilda on her side. Serves her right. Nobody went into her corner. She shouldn't even have been out there. Let's look at that. The flaming Tricerobot gets right underneath Matilda, rendering her incapacitated. 
but it's a good thing her old buddy Kilowatt is in there to put that claw and put her back up right again, running away. There's a blatant disregard for the rules in this round. They've all gone in there, and it looks like Triceratops the first to pay the price. Kilowatt's got her by the clinchers. Kilowatt swinging her around, loses her. Triceratops gets right into Rosie the Riveter. This is a tag team free for all. Look at that. Revbot has lost total control of any semblance of order. And here we go. The pit is open, and Triceratops is the first down. Now, as a rule state, both of them got to go out for one of the teams to win. Look at that. Trillzilla with a little bit of help from Tut Tut pushing Triceratops down. And time is out. So this one's going to have to go to the judges. Thank you. And now we know why they call it tag team terror, because the action was terrifying. Kind of reminding you of the old rock and sock connection on the loose, huh? And I know Sir Kilowatt was sent away with a red card, but he came back anyway to cause more destruction because he must have been very, very angry. We saw one robot in the pit, but it still comes down to a judge's decision. And while the judges do their deciding, let's look back on some real great robotic action. First, Drillzilla stuck that double weight advantage to Tricerabot. And then Rosie the Riveter jumped the gun and went in there too early and paid the price. And so did Kill a Lot from Revbot. But Matilda snuck in the back door and paid the price herself. Then Kill a Lot with blatant disregard swung Triceratops right into Rosie the Riveter. But Triceratops hit the hole first and got deep sixth here in the first round of Tag Team Terror. We've got a judge's decision, and it comes as no surprise. The tag team of Drillzilla and Tut Tut. Yeah. Oh, guys, that was devastating. I had, not, I had not seen tag team action like that before. Didn't seem a lot like a lot of teaming, but definitely a lot of tagging. There's a lot of fire in the ring, a lot of anger out there, a lot of pushing, a lot of shoving. We ended up getting them in the pit. That's what did it for us. Hey, you know, I've seen The Wizard of Oz about 27 times. Once the guy catches on fire, that's supposed to be it. That'd be like if the Wicked Witch didn't melt. The water goes on, she's got to go. But that darn car just kept on going. It wouldn't quit. We had to just keep pushing and beating on it and pushing and beating on it. And finally, we got it in the pit, and that made it quit. Hey, let's hear it for the tag team, Drillzilla and Tut Tut. That's right, Mick. Tut Tut and Drillzilla go through to the final, and Triceratops and Rosie the Riveter get to fight it out for third place. It's on, folks. You think those guys didn't like each other? We've got two teams determined to take each other.